Hello there. Today we're playing Pop and Twinbee on the Super Nintendo. This is uh, my first Super Nintendo video. Uh, I don't normally play on the Super Nintendo. Um, but uh, I picked this up today and it's my favourite vertical shooter on the Super Nintendo. So I thought it'd be fun to see if we can uh, get through the first level together. Um, yeah, it's a vertical shooter, a bit different this, no sci-fi alien monsters or anything like that, like our type. It's more of a, a manga cartoon. Um, we have a ship that looks like a big ball with arms, and uh, we, are, we are basically trying to make our way through the levels to uh, destroy wave after wave of Dr. Mardu's army. Uh, apparently he's had a bump on his head and he's gone insane. So yeah, he's an army of Acon men, and we have to kill them all. Um, to one or two player game this, to be honest, you need to be playing two players to get through the later levels because it's mad. So yeah, pop a twin bit on the Super Nintendo. Let's uh, let's give it a bash. So here you can, as you can see, you can collect these little ships that follow you around. So you can you can have them so they surround you, or they, they like follow you around like this, and they shoot as well. So. Um, I always have them like that because you can make like a like a snake tail. You can get quite a lot of them and sort of aim it to shoot at the baddies. So here we are. B is shoot. Um, y chucks a bomb at the ground, and then A does like a super gun. Now you see these bells in the cloud. If you keep shooting them, you can change their colour. Uh, so green's got me. Uh, green got me the ship that's following. Grey got me this. Uh, now I want pink now. Because a pink, if I remember, is a shield. That's it. So I've got a shield and a bigger gun now. So I'm using the bomb to fire those on the floor. Concentrating a bit. I am very good at shooters. I always like them, but I'm, I'm not very good at them. Let's pick some health up there, but we don't really need it. So I've got two of those ships following us now. Uh, I think you can have up to four. So let's see if we can get another grey bell. No, no, that's not grey. <laughs> That's not great at all. So as you can see, my shield's changing colour slightly. That every time it changes colour is when I'm when I'm hit. I just love this. I bought this when it came out on the SNES and I've always really liked this game. I'm gonna lose my shield in a minute. gets a bit busy on one player, obviously with two players you've got somebody helping you clear the screen. And obviously double the firepower uh, comes in handy on the end of level baddies, um, which are always getting shooters. So I've lost my shield now altogether. So we could do with getting a grey bell again. That one. Pink bell, sorry. I'm forgetting what does what. Um, I think. Oh. Yeah. oh. It's getting very busy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just like pretty much every other vertical shooter, to be honest. Just for some reason, I, uh, I've always come back to this one. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying playing it again. I've been trying to get out of this one for ages. Really chuffed that I picked it up today. Um, I wish I could remember what all the bells do. Ah. I 
think I want a green. That one, I want that one. No, that's the only problem. You get them to what you want and then you accidentally hit them again. So I've lost that one altogether now. And that one. I want a green one. I'm sure a green one will give me an extra ship. That's it, so I've got three ships now, so I can have another one if I can manage to get another green bell. So as ever, I'll ask a few questions. Um, have you ever played Pop and Twinbee? It actually had a sequel, by the way. Um, but it was a platformer. Totally, that's it, four now. Totally different sort of game. So here now, we've, uh, we've caught up to uh, one of the other characters from the game, and she's been attacked by this great big robot tentacle thing. So now we're... Uh, we're going to save her. So yeah, as I was saying, have, have you played Pop and Twinby? Do you remember it from the SNES days? Um, did you enjoy it? Um, did you prefer other shooters on the Super Nintendo? Um, did you have a Super Nintendo? I, it's not something I've covered before in my video, so it might not interest a lot of people. But to be honest, I just wanted to share it because I enjoy it so much. I just think it's uh, it's funny to see uh, uh, this genre done in such a way, you know, with, the, with all the sci-fi and uh, usual quite grim looking uh, backgrounds all gone and it's all just cutie characters. I think what I'll do now is I'll do one of my big bombs, so I've pressed the A there and then it just bounces about and whatever it hits gets hurt. And that's took him out. And we get loads of bells. We'll, we'll just pick him up because I'm happy with what I've got to be honest. So there we go. That's the first level of Pop and Twinby. Oh look, we got a kiss for saving her. So then we're on to an underwater level, but I'll, I'll not put you through that as well. Um, yeah, so that's Pop and Twinby, Twinby on the Super Nintendo. One of my favourite shooters, to be honest. Uh, definitely on the Super Nintendo. I, I have other favourite shooters, um, but they're on the different computers and consoles. So, as ever, thank you for watching those who did. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, catch you later, bye.